Uh, I'm here at the University of Stirling uh, where we're commemorating the 100th anniversary of the troops leaving from Scotland, 4th of June from here in Stirling. Uh, we're going to have a, a lecture from Sir Hugh Strawn, an expert in this area, and Gallipoli, commemorating Gallipoli um, is so important as part of that programme of commemorations. Uh, but one of the important things that we have as part of Scotland's commemorations of the First World War and Gallipoli is that we want to involve young people. So we've had primary school children uh, here today at the University of Stirling and uh, they've been involved in some of the poetry. We've got a, a creative writing competition that is, the Scottish Government is supporting. So it's important that in this lecture we've got students as well as other guests here because the story of Gallipoli, the lessons from Gallipoli and the history of Gallipoli is something that we should uh, share. The Gallipoli campaign is one which involves uh, all the major belligerents uh, of the First World War, at least as they were in 1915, so it's a clash of empires in a very real sense, but one in which Scotland plays a crucial role, particularly in the later stages of the campaign. Not a strong presence at the beginning, but the 52nd Lowland Division, when it goes to Gallipoli, when it goes to the Dardanelles uh, in June, is really representative of the central belt and of the borders particularly through their ter territorial units. Um, so it's a citizen army going to war uh, from most of the major cities of Scotland.